All right, three, two, one. What's up, Ant City? And welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. I haven't made one of these in a minute, but the ninth anniversary on JP is upon us. And we're about five hours away from the fan meeting happening, which is going to be streamed live. I'm probably going to also stream in and give my reactions to who the headliner is going to be. But for right now, I wanted to just make this video going over all the evidence and theories that people have about what the anniversary units are going to be. So. Just to get it out the way for now, the big three characters that people are talking about are Beast Gohan, Gogeta Blue, and UI Goku. But I've seen a lot of people say that they actually think it's more than likely going to be Gogeta Blue and Beast Gohan. Like those two specifically. I'm going to give my opinions here too, but for now I just want to go over the evidence. So the first thing we have is this ninth anniversary meetup picture here. So this is, you know, Goku, obviously, uh, posed up like this. So the first thing people notice with this immediately is that it's the same pose as superhero so this was the teaser we got for superhero like a long like like you said it was like, like this says 2022 we got this teaser back in like i almost want to say we, this was in 2021 it could have been early 2022 though but yeah so this goku is in the exact same pose there and so one thing i wanted to bring up specifically though that i find interesting here is if we take a look at superhero goku right this is his outfit here we take a look at broly movie goku this is also his outfit this goku in the teaser image isn't wearing his outfit from superhero or from broly which is some that i just kind of find that weird because if this is meant to be this same pose that goku's doing why change the outfit you know like why not keep him in you know the lighter orange with like you know the belt that's tied in the front and go with the belt that's wrapped all the way around because actually if you look at his outfit it's a lot closer to his tournament of power outfit. This like it's the exact same outfit actually. I say closer, but it's literally his tournament of power outfit. That's what this is. So that's like a big thing. This is like a big hint people have towards why it's probably going to be superhero because it's this exact pose that Goku does here. Like it's literally the same pose. Like like undeniably that that is that pose. So I completely agree. But the thing that's interesting to me is the fact they put him in this outfit rather than the Broly movie or the superhero outfit. Because, like, even just putting the belt like this, you could pass that as Broly or superhero. Like, if they had that same belt with the lighter orange. But then they decided to go... Again, this could be completely coincidence, mind you, that it is the Tournament of Power outfit. But I just find that kind of interesting. But... So now the next big point that people bring up is the countdown image that we got. So... This was in the data download. These are all the countdown images. So a week before the anniversary starts, we're going to get these images like we get every year for anniversary and worldwide. So people are saying that what this is showing is it's starting at, you know, Beerus Saga. This is the beginning of Dragon Ball Super. And it's going all the way up until the end of Super. You know, right here, this is the climax of Super, obviously. This is like the big final major moment. People are saying it confirms that we're moving past Tournament of Power and that's where it's going to end but i want to bring up the other two like the i want to bring up two other anniversaries really so this was the countdown images for year six or for the sixth anniversary yes so for ui goku and evolution so just to kind of give you guys an idea of what people are talking about as you see here we start off with goku you know meeting the zenos and he's talking about hey let's hold a tournament then this is goku going through recruiting everybody so he recruits Vegeta, then krillin in 18 then 17 then, you know, Gohan and them, Frieza, and then the tournament starts. And then obviously that leads us into UI Goku. So this all happens right before the tournament of power. And then we're going into a tournament of power anniversary. And then for the seventh anniversary, they actually did things a little differently this time, if you ask me, is that we had this is all basically just a bunch of like a bunch of different Goku and Vegeta moments throughout the anime. So the first moment, you know, this is their first fight. This is them on Namek, and then this is the Cell Saga, Boo Saga. This is them fusing. Then we did do GT, and then Super. So you could argue that technically, like this Goku and Vegeta, and then Evolution Blue, and uh, UI Goku, these are supposed to be again right before you know we get the Super Saiyan fours, and then this obviously leads into Broly. So that's another hint that people are going for there is that, um. Like, like, this is saying that we're going after this moment. But I feel like this was more so just meant to be, like, here's a bunch of moments of Goku and Vegeta. Obviously, this could mean 
that were you know moving directly after this but uh, I will come back to these teaser images later because I have a, a bigger theory about what anniversary would be but I just wanted to bring up that that's one that's one big reason people don't think it'll be UI Goku because they are confident that the teaser images are showing we're moving past the anime of Super and going straight into the movies uh, just like how this you know let us turn power and then this leads to Super Saiyan 4s and the LR gods and all that so there's that the next thing oh the, also I wanted to bring up the 8th anniversary teasers also so we've got, you know, it goes Kid Goku, then Great Ape Goku, Kaioken, Super Saiyan. And we've got, you know, Yard Drag Goku, and then Buu Saga Goku, which then led into, you know, Karunga and, Shin and, uh, and Shinron, yeah. So the thing with this too that's interesting is, again, you could technically say this all happens before, you know, the big Spirit Bomb and before GT. But I feel like this was definitely more so hinting towards the Spirit Bomb, which Usagi at the end, and then obviously the reason Shinron and Karunga are here is because you know they're both involved with the Spirit Bomb. Like Karunga gives Goku his his uh, key back during the Z Spirit Bomb, and then Shinron takes Goku away after the GT Spirit Bomb. So this one is kind of interesting because if you take a look at this image, technically this isn't pointing to like before what happened. Like Karunga doesn't happen after the Spirit Bomb, and neither does Shinron. They happen. Well, I meant before. They, like, the Spirit Bomb doesn't happen after Perunga and Shinron. Perunga is during the Spirit Bomb, and Shinron is after. So, technically, these are, like, in the middle of the Spirit Bomb. So, that's just an interesting point I wanted to bring up. But, obviously, this is right before, um, the you know, the Bu this is Buu Saga when Goku first goes Super Saiyan 3. This is before the Spirit Bomb. Interesting thing here, though, that they don't have GT at all in any of these. It's just showing off some major Goku moments, but nothing from GT. This is interesting. But yeah, so I just wanted to go over those countdown images. Like I said, we'll come back. I do have a point I wanted to make. Um, so looking at all that, this is why people think Gogeta Blue and Beast are locked in. Like we're moving past Tournament of Power. There's no UI Goku. That's the hint. But then we got this piece of information that I think is interesting. So shout out to Proton here. He posted that there was an update in the files for STR UI Goku's uh, Super Attack scripts. Basically, they just did a minor update to some parts of his super attack like it could be like text or whatever um it says they apply a different effect depending on your level it basically means like you might raise like your defense like you like they said usually happens with easy a's because you know how like sometimes a character like every time a character easy a's they'll either gain like attack or defense on their supers that's basically what this is saying they have a new effect and this usually happens with easy a's now to be fair this could not be connected to anniversary at all because a lot of times like for example uh there was a rebrand card asset updates like during worldwide i think uh but re lr rebrand didn't drop for like months after that so ui goku here this could just be preparing for later on in the year so this isn't really as strong as evidence but it's just interesting that it was specifically this goku that had these updates that you know Usually this is connected to easy A's. I just think that's really interesting. And if he is easy A during anniversary, I feel like that's a pretty big hint towards UI Goku. The next thing we have are the trailers that dropped. Uh, like these are little teaser trailers we got for anniversary. I'm sure y'all have seen them. I'm probably not going to play the whole thing for all of these because we got three different ones here. Uh, but so it's the first one is obviously Battle of Gods. We got Goku. Oh, oops. I did not want to. Oh, don't copyright me, please. But of this text right here says something about like fighting in the realm of gods, which people took that as the line Vegeta says in the Tournament of Power to Goku. But we learn later, like when we watch the other trailers, this is just basically connected to Battle of Gods, is what it's like. This is just text talking about Battle of Gods. So we get, you know, it's all of this going through every moment of Battle of Gods. And then another interesting thing is hero the the song that's playing in the trailer the reason why i muted it is actually in game right now and it's lasting all of anniversary so we're gonna have hero by flow playing throughout the whole anniversary same thing with this trailer here which is uh you hear that this is resurrection f so and the, here's the let me get to the text here so this is when we confirm that the text doesn't hint towards anniversary because this says like something like benevolent emperor or something like that which obviously it's turning gold so this text is connected to you know golden freeze of the movie so we're going through that we have you know goku going blue vegeta going blue golden freeze and then the very last trailer we got was actually fully tournament of power and we have ultimate battle 
in the game also like all the way up through anniversary so it's interesting though because people did point out that they have to like pay money to put the like it's not like an easy thing for them to put these songs in game like that and they're making them last the whole anniversary which is really really interesting because again if it's gogeta blue and beast you would think they'd put like blizzard in the superhero theme right but they're putting in these these other three songs we're going you know uh flow by hero from battle of gods the resurrection f song and then ultimate battle like you would think they would put them the songs from the movie i mean which again they still could mind you like that could still come later but it's just interesting we're getting these three songs already and we like confirmed the lasting all anime. and then another thing just to point out really quick is a, people are taking the way this is set up here this because this says ninth anniversary they're taking the fact that it's silver text with this red flare to be like a beast gohan hint because you know he's got the white hair and then his eyes turn red and all that people are also taking that as ui goku because of the, of the white hair the silver hair uh so people are using this as a hint too it could mean something because obviously they did make it look like this for a reason it's not like they just picked this randomly so i could see that being a hint but next thing though is another hint towards gogeta people saw is there's this story event there's basically if you went into the story event uh through like the tab like you know how you can pull up like when you're trying to find where you get medals from an event you pull that up and then it takes you to the event if you went through there it would say the pay like this event's under maintenance basically and it was like an error message which um was basically implying that they're doing something with this story event which could be connected to anniversary so kind of this is kind of the same level of hint as the str ui goku easy a thing where it's like this could mean something for anniversary but this could also be completely separate you know we don't know but this probably means the someone pointed out that there's characters in here there's the golden frieza and then the super saiyan broly that haven't easy aid yet so those two could easy a that that could very well happen uh or this could just get tr turned into like the you know how there's the whole separate tab for dragon ball story it could be be turned into one of those so that's possible but this could also just be like it could have nothing to do with anniversary but i do believe it probably does which we'll get into later. um which actually no we're gonna get into it right now so another big hint is all of these story events are coming back so i just wanted to show here these are all tournament of power and here we've got you know another dragon ball super we've got broly we've got the shampa arc we've got another broly movie thing resurrection f the superhero events coming back and then just to show off more there's even goku black arc they're going through all of super here and then the most interesting thing is Cell Saga events are coming back because Cell Saga would imply Beast because obviously, you know, the androids would connect to like Cell Max and then it's, you know, the Cell Saga is basically, like, or superhero is heavily referencing Cell Saga, you know, with Beast Gohan. Uh, you know, you've got Gohan here. It's like that would connect to like Hybrid Saiyans, which would connect to Beast Gohan. So it's interesting that specifically these and all the events from Super coming back, another hint towards it being Beast coming. Um, so then after that uh okay i'll get into this later actually so with all of that in mind so we've got all of these story events coming back right we've got the songs from these um the, the you know the songs from all of the like the the movies like battle gods resurrection f uh ultimate battles coming back we've got the countdown images here going through all of super so what i'm thinking actually is the celebration theme is just dragon ball super in general not just the movies based on everything i'm seeing here the fact all of these story events are coming back we got like some big hit songs from super technically you could argue that you know battle gods and resurrection f are dragon ball z movies but like come on it's the super era and like it makes more sense to pull like they clearly wanted to pull songs that are connected to those arcs and not just use the openings of super they wanted to pull like specific songs. I mean, I guess they could have just done the openings, right? But um, they wanted to pull like specific songs. It's just this is connected to Super, even though these are technically Z movies. It's it's like part of Super. They got turned into arcs into Super. This is the Super era. So that plus, like I said, the countdown images here make me believe that we're going through Super. Because if we're just moving past Tournament of Power, it's interesting they're going through uh, showing specifically also all the antagonists that out they're showing all the antagonists of each arc of super and then it ends with you know the tournament of power so i'm thinking the whole theme here is just supposed to be super in general but then that kind of leaves us where we started you know that kind of puts us back to zero we're now 
it could still be UI Goku, Beast, or Gogeta Blue. People are still heavily on Gogeta Blue or Beast. If you want my opinion, I think it's Beast for sure. But I'm not sure about Gogeta Blue or UI. Now, me personally, I want it to be UI Goku. Because uh, another thing, now I can get into this, is Easy A's that are coming up. So looking at this, if they theme this around Tournament of Power, there is like a million Easy A's we can get. Like, first of all, 2021... These two are, like, for sure getting easy A's because every year so far they've been easy a you know, anniversary units. Like, last year we got the fifth anniversary easy A's. Before that, we got the third and fourth anniversary easy A's for year seven. So they're definitely easy A, which would, again, if it's UI Goku as a headliner, they would tie in perfectly. But last year, Gogeta Blue and Vegito Blue, uh, like, the, the theme was Spirit Bomb, and we got Gogeta Blue, Vegito Blue, which technically they're on Final Trump card was why, but... Those characters aren't exactly connected to the anniversary. So, or like to the headliners, I mean. Like, they're not connected. So, it doesn't have to, like, just because these guys are easy doesn't mean it's going to be um, Tournament of Power. But for me, what gives me a strong, like, feeling that UI Goku is coming is because outside of them, look at how many else we have. So, we've got, let me just count them. Kefla is, you know, Tournament of Power. UI Goku is Tournament of Power. So that's two. Three with the Evolution and Kaioken. Four with Jiren. Five with this Frieza right here. And I think that's all the ones that are upcoming, right? Now. Yeah, because then there's these two. I guess you could count these two technically too. I, I just don't think they'll easy A this soon because they haven't touched 2021 easy A's yet. But we literally have like five easy A's lined up that, that all connect to, uh, you know, Tournament of Power. And like three of them are LRs. I have two TURs. So that's a good mix there. It's not all LRs. Um,. And then, like, like if it's Gogeta and Beast, for example, that would mean they only do movie easy A's. And we only have, I guess you could easy A, like, Bojack. That, that would feel kind of weird right now, right? Like, I guess technically movies also has the same amount of easy A's, though. Because you could easy A LR Turles, Bojack, uh, this Gohan right here, which I think that's a strong hint towards Beast. I could see him. Easy. And then we've got these two units. But I feel like the thing with them, though, is, like, these were um, New Year's units. So don't they, do they not usually easy a New Year's units during New Year? I don't, I don't remember. Cause who was the last New Year's like? Oh, like these two haven't got their easy A's, by the way, and they were New Year's before them. So it would be weird if we get these easy A's before these ones. But I feel like these guys are definitely upcoming. We're probably gonna get a Super Vegito at some point. I'm hoping like worldwide, but honestly, even 10th anniversary could be Super Gogeta Super Vegito. Okay, but like, that's a long time to wait for them. So, I don't know, but to me, it just feels like the Tournament of Power Easy A's are so lined up for it to just go so smoothly. Like, it's just like a slam dunk right there. Because these guys, they all, like, they just kind of drop randomly. Uh, and, like, like all of these guys aren't linked. Like, these, you know, these two, like I said, they're linked to New Year's. These guys aren't really linked to anything like that. So, they could Easy A any time. If they went crazy, they could give us, like, all of these. I don't think we'd get all of them. Realistically, I would see him Easy A, Deeran. I guess I could see just these three LRs easy. They could say Frieza and Kefla for later, but if they want to go crazy, they could just easy A all of these. And then that ties in perfectly. And then for Superhero, they just easy A this Gohan uh, from movies. Because the thing with like Bojack and Turles, if they easy A, they wouldn't really fit with the headliner. Whereas all of these, their universe survival saga, they're fitting with UI Goku as a headliner. Like it just makes sense. Uh, but technically, they could just do all these movies because. If the if that's what they go for for the headliners, it could be all movies. So that's a this is a big reason why I think UI Goku is just these easy A's feel they're so lined up. We got a million of we got a million tournament of power easy A's, and then we just got the Kaioken Blue easy A too, who needs like a team. But you know, Gokan's not exactly known for helping their units when they drop. So like, look at LR Super Blue. Where's his buffs? So they could just leave Kaioken Blue alone. But even like if like we include Kaioken Blue, that's another easy A we just got that fit with this theme also they i also with superhero they could easy a um like another hint for superhero they could easy a lr gohan or not lr i call him lr tech ultimate gohan could easy a here and he would fit the theme really well too because i'm still i'm still very confident beast is showing up like for sure i just don't know if it's gonna be ui or gogeta blue i could see arguments for both sides like i understand both points but i feel like we're kind of at a point where it's like beast to me is locked and Gogeta is like a maybe. But some people actually have been saying the opposite, where Gogeta's a lock and Beast is maybe. Because, like, 
they think Gogeta's locked because like the trailers, for example, it goes through the two movies and then it goes to Tournament of Power and then right after Tournament of Power, like the countdown shows is Broly. Technically Beast is also after, but he's locked in. They think Gogeta, because he's after Tournament of Power, is locked. I think that it could go either way. But now to get to one last point is we're actually going to talk about the 10th anniversary here because I think they should save Gogeta Blue for 10th anniversary. And here's why. So this is a list of all... This is just one page of it because this is the page I needed. Showing all the sales numbers for every banner in Dokkan. I think someone released this like last year. Um, it's been a while. So I don't think this counted 8th anniversary. I think they dropped this like right before 8th anniversary. So I don't think we've seen what 2023 sales are like. I think... When they dropped this, the most recent unit on JP was Super Trucks. That's what it was. So they dropped it around then. But if we look, the highest grossing banner ever in Dokkan is LR Vegito and STR Gogeta. This is the fifth year anniversary. I know it says six, but that's because on this list, technically, they're counting the very first year Dokkan came out as year one. So technically, like year zero, if you really want to count it. So this is the fifth year anniversary, though. Like, look, look at all these drops. This was all year five, which actually I could show you all the picture. It's 2020. That, that's that's when this is right. It, all of like if you read all these units, that's literally what is shown right here. That's all of them. So this was 2020. So these two boys right here were the highest grossing banner in Dokkan ever by like a long shot. Like look, they were double UI Goku and Evolution Vegeta alone. By, like they doubled in sales because Gogeta and Vegeta are just hype. So I think what makes most sense to me is remember. We do have the sync with Global coming up, and I'm confident we're getting that sync by 10th anniversary. So, what better way to celebrate 10th anniversary than doing a repeat of your highest selling banner? Like, obviously, I'm not like an executive at Dokkan. I don't call the shots. If they want to do Gogeta Blue now, honestly, I'll still be hype because, um, I mean, I'm a Gogeta fan. Like, I'm a big Gogeta fan. They dropped Gogeta Blue this anniversary. I'm still somebody. Like, I don't care. But I think it would be smarter if they drop a, a standalone Vegito Blue and a standalone Gogeta Blue, like they don't transform or anything, you just, when you summon them and awaken them to LR, they are just in blue. Do that for 10th anniversary, especially because we're syncing with Global and I'm confident it's gonna be at 10th anniversary. So obviously, if it doesn't happen for 10th anniversary, it doesn't really matter, but I'm, I believe that it's gonna happen for 10th anniversary so hard because they announced it already. I feel like 10th anniversary, we're for sure synced so what better way to do it than your did, like going after your highest money makers like Gogeta Blue, Vegito Blue are, are the highest money makers in Dokkan ever by a long shot. So doing an anniversary sync with Global and GP, J, JP, like peak hype for Dokkan is going to be a synced anniversary. Doing your highest selling units like your your money making characters just makes too much sense. Like fifth anniversary was your highest selling banner. Do that like again then it's five years after so it's like we're doubling you go to 10th anniversary run it back do them as standalones give them like original animations everything make it hype i think that's the perfect anniversary and then technically even if they drop gogeta now like they because i think if they drop gogeta now it's going to be a fusing unit like the vegeto blue technically even if they drop him now they could still always give us you know a gogeta blue next anniversary but i they've never done that before where they do back-to-back -back anniversary is the same headliner so like obviously this year would be gogeta blue and then they do it again next year i don't see that happening so that's why for me i really hope it is ui goku as the headliner because i think doing a synced anniversary with gogeta blue vegeto blue is peak hype and i don't think dokkan will ever surpass that like that the amount of money they'll make will be insane if, in my opinion but obviously again at the end of the day i'm not an executive we don't really know what's going on but like I said, as I'm recording this video, we've got like four and a half hours left. And then we'll know the headliners. So I guess we'll see if I'm right. If it is UI Goku, though, all I'm telling y'all is 10th anniversary is going to be insane, bro. But yeah, that's all the evidence, though. So thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, tune in on my channel. Keep watch. I'm going to more than likely be streaming. Because for me, it's at midnight when that stream happens. So I'm going to probably be streaming that just so we can see what the headliners are. Obviously, it's all going to be in Japanese. So I'm not going to know what they're saying. But... What we're there for is to just see the headliners. <laughs> That's what we're there for. Like we see them, we're good. GG. I don't, I don't know what they're saying. We'll look at translations later. Like I'll, I'll look at what Goresh said, right? Uh, and then we'll, we'll know that. But we're just there for the headliners. But yeah, that's it for this video, though. So thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. And like I said, stay tuned for that 
uh, live stream where they're revealing the units at the fan meetup. But yeah, I'm so excited, bro. Like I said, no matter what happens though, no matter if it's Gogeta Blue or UI, because I think Beast is locked in, I'm hype. So let's go.